Good afternoon viewers. Today I want to show you how to find the derivative of inverse trigonometric functions. Um, in today's tutorial I'm going to restrict my discussion based on the three major inverse trigonometric functions. So first we are asked to find the derivative of sine inverse of a function x. So first thing we need to do here is to let let y equals to this function. Secondly, we are going to multiply each side by sine. So on the left hand side we have sine y and to the right hand side we have only x because sine times sine inverse is equal to 1. So what we are going to apply here is implicit differentiation. We are going to differentiate both sides with respect to x. So we are going to differentiate this with respect to x. Likewise, to the other side with respect to x. So if you differentiate sine y, you're going to obtain cos y multiplied by the derivative of the inner function, which is y. In this case, we have dy over dx. And to the right hand side, we have one. If you differentiate x, you're going to obtain one. We are looking for dy dx. Therefore, we're going to divide both sides by cos y. So we have dy over dx to be equal to one over cos y. We are going to apply some trigonometric identities in this simplification. Sine squared y plus cos squared y is equal to 1, which is a trigonometric identity. Uh, we have uh, cos y here, but here we have cos squared y. So we can say cos squared y is equal to 1 minus sine squared y but cos y alone will be equal to the square root of 1 minus sine squared y so this is the same thing as 1 divided by the square root of 1 minus sine squared y but from here you, see, you can see that sine y is equal to x so therefore we can substitute sine squared y with x. So dy over dx will now be equal to 1 divided by the square root of 1 minus x squared because sine y is equal to x. Therefore sine squared y will be x squared. So this is all about the derivative of sine inverse of x. So now let us look on to how to find uh, the derivative of cos inverse of the same function x. Let y equals the cos inverse of the function x. By multiplying both sides by cos, we are going to eliminate the cos inverse to the other side. So here we have cos y equals x. By differentiating both sides with respect to x, on the left hand side, if you differentiate cos y, you're going to obtain minus sine y or dy over dx and to the right hand side we have 1 if you differentiate x you're going to obtain 1 this is what we are looking for dy over dx so we are going to divide both sides with negative sine y dy over dx will now be equal to negative 1 divided by sine sine y the same thing to obtain sine y from this identity we can make sine squared y to be equal to 1 minus cos squared y. Therefore, sine y will be equal to the square root of 1 minus cos squared y. So instead of sine y, we write the square root of 1 minus cos squared y. And this is the same thing as negative 1 divided by the square root of 1 minus cos squared squared y but if you look at this cos y is equal to x therefore we can substitute cos squared y with x and this is now equal to negative 1 divided by the square root of 1 minus x squared so this is the derivative of cos inverse of a function x let us look on to the last one which is the uh, tan inverse of the same function suppose y is given as tan 
inverse of uh, the function x. We are going to do the same thing, multiply tan to both sides. So on the left hand side we have tan y and to the right hand side we only have x. If you differentiate tan y, you are going to obtain a second squared y times dy over dx because of the chain rule. And to the right hand side we have 1. Remember we are looking for dy over dx so dy over dx will now be equal to 1 divided by secant squared y which is the same thing as cos squared y because secant squared is an inverse function of cos squared y so this is the same thing as cos squared y. Again let us refer back to the main identity let us divide each of these terms by cos, cos squared y. The first term will now be equal to tan squared y because sine over cos is tan plus cos divided by cos is 1 and this is equal to 1 over cos squared y. This is what I am looking for which is cos squared y. So I'm now going to take the reciprocal of both sides. So we, we are going to have cos squared y equals 1 divided by tan squared y plus 1. This is what we are going to have. So now instead of uh, cos squared y, we are going to write 1 over tan squared y plus 1. This is the same thing as 1 divided by tan squared y plus 1. But again, look at, we have tan y to be equal to x. So instead of tan squared y, we are going to write x squared y. Lastly, the derivative of tan inverse of x will now be equal to 1 divided by x squared plus 1. So in my next class, maybe we are going to look on to the introduction to integral calculus. So if you are new here, consider subscribing. Press the bell icon so that you will be notified whenever I upload new content.